All right, so once you found the event and you get into the event, you click on the event name or whatever, it's going to take you to the event page, which is going to look something like this. You get all these ads and stuff over here. Just ignore them. Uh, but in the middle is the key port part. All right, so here's the, this is uh, for Minneapolis Museum here, uh, free museum day. Uh, this is for like all Minneapolis museums, I think, which of course is probably not going to happen this year, but it's still live so we can actually look at it and, uh, and I can show you what to do. All right, so you go to the event. Once you're there, it's going to look something like this. You'll have the title of the event, date, uh, interested or going. You, of course, you're going to click going uh, because we're talking about farmer's market event. Uh, and then you, the biggest thing you can do here, uh, there's a couple, one, you can have, there's a discussion down here. If you click on that, if you're allowed to post in it, then there will be a space here for you to actually comment. This event does not allow you to do that. So you can't So you, you can comment and say you're a vendor or you just love the idea of the event. You want to say, Hey, we're coming in and, and we'll see you there. You can do that. Uh, or the biggest, the most important thing to do, of course, besides click going, right, is the share button over here. So uh, the biggest one, the, the easiest one is the share as a post. So let's start with that. Click share as a post. Familiar window will come up. It'll say share on your timeline. You can change that, but that's more advanced. So let's just stick with the simple stuff. Uh, so share on your timeline. Then you're going to, you know, of course say, this is awesome or something else more catchy <laughs> right uh you want to you want to say something because that means it's more important to you and your friends will actually pay more attention to it when you do that and then you're going to come down to the little blue post button click post boom it'll be shared to your timeline your your page your personal page and then your friends hopefully will see it there i'm going to cancel that because I don't want to actually post it. All right. So the other way to share, and this is actually the most powerful way. And this is what I do for all, all events that uh, I'm trying to promote is the invite friends option. Now you get a bigger screen here and right here in the middle, <coughs> excuse me, you'll see listed. Uh, that's not actually all my friends, but, um, Anyway, there's a lot of them listed here. Now I could go down and select individual ones or I can click select all, which I don't want to do actually because you don't want to spam everybody. So you want to be a little more selective. Now, if you're really, you, if you've never done this for an event before, you might not have over here this list. I don't know. I've, I've been doing it for so long that it's been over here for so long. I'm not even sure if everyone can see this, but it should show you, you know, events that you've hosted, if you've hosted any events yourself uh, in the past, or events you've attended, if you've attended events, and most of you probably have. It'll also show you groups that you're a member of, and you can expand that out. All right, so the, one of the best ways is to think, okay, for this event, say it's a farmer's market event. So what I do is I come over and I find a farmer's market event that I have been to or whatever, like the fancy farmer ball, for instance. So I click on, click on that and I have already 182 people that I, I invited to the fancy farmer ball. And then I can just go boom, select all. And they're all over here in this list. And then if I want to add more, if I want to see if I can find some more people, I can go down to my groups and say growing West side, for instance. And I can click select all there and see we've added 10. It won't duplicate. So it's not going to send an invite to the same person twice or three times, just once. So it won't let you add people that are already in the list, but it will add a few. And you can keep doing that. Uh, let's see. I don't want to do West St. Paul neighbors. I think. Well, we'll try that and see how many we get. 191 we're up to. So, you, and you can do that up to uh, an individual can uh, invite up to 500 people themselves. So you can personally invite up to 500 people. You want to make sure it's people that you think 
would actually be interested in the event. Otherwise, it's kind of spamming them, and Facebook definitely frowns on that. So, anyway, that's how you invite friends, a bunch of them, quickly to an event is you find you know them in a group or an event you've attended before or one you've hosted. You can also, if you've created lists of friends, uh, you know, close friends, acquaintances, that kind of stuff over here, if you have separated list of your friends if you're that organized i'm not particularly that organized then you can also go that way say if they're maybe you they're west side friends or something um that would actually be a very good list i should probably do that myself but i haven't so anyway once you've got this as many over here as you think you should put over here then you go down and you just click send invites boom and it will automatically send it out to all those People. Now, one of the best things about, <coughs> excuse me, about sending invites this way is that once they're invited to the event, unless they cancel that some way, and they can, but if they don't, Facebook will automatically remind them as the event comes closer that the event is coming up, right? And, and to respond, hey, you going or not, right? Um, I don't know if, I think it might actually remind to suggest they invite other people, uh, which would be cool. But uh, anyway, it, it helps to remind them and it does it automatically so that me as the event organizer or you, if you're organizing an event, don't have to constantly, oh, did I send a reminder out? Facebook does it automatically, which is pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> regardless of all the things they do that aren't so cool. Uh, that one is. Anyway, I'm going to cancel that because I'm not actually inviting all these people to this event that I'm not going to. Uh, so that's how you invite people to an event. Let's, you can also share it in Messenger. I don't really like to do that because most people don't want to get spammed messages about you know particular events. But if there's a particular person, uh, a friend that you want, really want to make sure is going, you can send them this you know an event via messenger you just click on that find their name and send it but mostly it's about inviting friends that's really the best one you can and of course you can share it as a post to your personal page you can you can also share it to uh pages that you manage if you're managing facebook page a facebook page or a group that you created you can share it to a group uh did i show you that Let's do that. Share as a post. All right. So if you want to share it to a group, okay, then you go up. Once this window, you share as a post, it comes up. You go up here to this little drop down, right? And there's several th choices in here, including share in group. And then you find the group name, like Rolling West Side. And then you say something and then you click post, boom, and that will share it to the group. And this is how I do this every time that we do an event, uh, cancel. And that's it. And so I hope that's helpful. If not, reach out to me and I will try to walk you through it um, if you need some help. All right, guys, thanks.